Volvo engineers are probably holding their breath watching this scene, where safety is measured by every weld, not by crash simulations. On a bare chassis, the workers begin by welding the frame that supports the floor and the vehicle body, creating the first skeleton of the bus. Steel bars are bent entirely by hand, using hammers and improvised forms to shape the curved arches of the body. Each arch is raised one by one onto the chassis. One person holds it in place while another tack welds it to the floor, just strong enough to stay put while still allowing adjustments. With no lasers or precision measuring tools, they rely on trained eyes and tensioned strings to check alignment. Underneath, the undercarriage is reinforced with a welded frame to form a luggage compartment. Pre-pressed steel panels are then welded onto the sides, mainly using spot welding to preserve the shape. The body is further reinforced with thicker steel bars designed to withstand the everyday scrapes of traffic. After sheet metal fully covers the body, wooden boards are cut and fitted to form the floor, followed by steel plates to finish the surface. At the same time, outside, body filler is applied and shaped, sanded down and reapplied layer after layer until the surface is smooth. Finally comes primer, then paint sprayed evenly in thin coats. No European standards, no laboratory tests, just a finished bus leaving the workshop, carrying the belief that it will survive real roads.